Time to wake up. Hey. We gotta go fishing. Let's go to Wago. All right, it is our second morning here in Arkansas, out in the Ozarks, and we're gonna head back out to that creek, and do a little bit more bass fishing. Um, presently waiting on my cousin to get up and get around. We're gonna head back down to that creek, get a little bit more fishing action. Well, folks, we will see you guys back down at the water. So as it turns out, Bobby's not coming this morning. Um, he actually had, uh, he tried to get a hold of me, but we have no cell service up here and I left the radio in the truck. So, hello cow. How are you cows? Hi. Um, I left the radio in the truck, so he, he actually tried to let me know uh, earlier. He's got a, an event to go to that he's gonna prepare food for. And so he's, that's what he's spending his morning doing, so lame. Um, we're going to, uh, Matthew and I are going to fish this morning and have ourselves a grand old time out here on this nice little tucked away hidden creek in the Ozarks in Arkansas. Time to launch the Bassmaster 3000. All right. Oh, hey, little mice. What? What are you guys doing? Hanging out underneath the Bassmaster 3000. Don't y'all know? Okay, all right. Oh, hey little frog. What are you doing underneath the Bassmaster 3000? <laughs> Come on. Everyone's gone and made our bass boat into a home. All right. And we're off. Wee! Oh, that's a cold wet seat. It would be nice if I had a foot operated trolling motor. Just turn me whatever direction I want. What did you just cover me in line for? We're not fly fishing. Child? Oh, gotcha. Get on out of there. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Oh, it's turning the boat. Ooh, you're a little guy. You're a little guy. But you are definitely a f thick guy. Definitely a little bit better than some of the skinnier looking ones in here. All right. And he didn't steal any of my crawdad arms. First fish of the day. You're a pretty guy. I'll put you back over here in the grass. There you go. I'll run back to your home. I tell you what, this this jig does the trick. This Guggen flipping jig. Oh, I got one. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Oh boy. It feels like a two pounder. <laughs> well, what is it? What is it? It's a bass. No, I mean I know it's a bass. Is it a two pounder? Oh, oh yeah. you are a stout one. Oh, this is my TV. This is definitely your biggest bass. <laughs> All right. My PB. Right off the bat today, we are smoking. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to hang on to this Wait, guy real quick. I need a scale on him. I'm going to get a scale on him. It has to be a two and a half pounder. Goodness <laughs> gracious. like a four pounder. He dragged the boat. <laughs> One. Oh, two. No. Two. 
Oh, all right. We got to see how big it was. It was two. Two? Yeah. Solid two? Yeah. It was like hovering like 208. 208? Yeah, 2.08. He's a two pounder. A PB. The last one was about a pounder and a half. And so right off the bat today, we both get a fish. You have a line out? I'm turning us around. I didn't want to. Right off the bat, we both get a fish. And he caught his, <clears throat> Matthew caught his personal best. It was a two pounder. I don't get, didn't get the exact, because it was hovering around like 2.08 to 2.0. Like, but it's like it was moving around, but it was a solid two pounder for sure. So, so I mean, we'll call it, we'll call it two, two point, two point one. Oh, what just hit my lure? Oh. So, so far we're tied up one to one. He has the biggest bass. And they're going, they're, they're attacking that spinning bait even. I kind of didn't think they would be as aggressive right now to attack a spinning bait. That's why I'm throwing a flipping jig, but I'll tell you what. Oh. I got the I'm getting nibbles too. Ooh. Oh, oh, I almost had you one. almost had one. Oh, Ooh, I just saw, I just saw a fish swirl. Something has it. Come on, keep going with it, buddy. Keep going with it. There you go. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, and he's got a salad along with him. Oh no. He got nice off. Pass. It definitely, it was definitely a fish. <laughs> that was definitely a fish. He got me. And then it got loose in the grass. See, look, he even grabbed my trailer and brought it down on the hook. All right, let's get this crack and crawl back on up in the air. Come on, take it, buddy. Got a little nibbler over here. There he goes. Come on, take it. Gotcha, gotcha, oh you are, oh my goodness. Oh, I, I got him and the tree. <laughs> I, got, I got him and the tree. Oh. You got wrapped up in the tree. I was like, he is huge. <laughs> but what he is, is he's a tree pounder. That's the first time that I've actually caught a tree and a bass. <laughs> Talk about Talk about a tree bass. So I think we might take this guy up to the lake and set him free in there. <clears throat> so, buddy, you get to move. You get a change of scenery to a big lake that's got tons of food for you to eat so you can get giant. How's that sound? Be a 10 pounder in no time. I think he likes it. Hey girl, come to watch us fish. Curious cows. Gotcha. Stay on there, little guy. There we go. Yep, we can take him to the lake as well. Got you right through the nose, buddy. Feisty guys, these feisty little characters. All right, you're gonna go uh, to the lake with us as well. All right, Matthew, where are you at? That's three to one. Yeah, the biggest. Oh, yeah, but uh, 
He said, do you want to do most fish wins competition? You're the one who set the rules, not me. I said father versus son competition. Well, I have the most pounds of bass, for sure. Because I've got probably about three pounds of bass at least. Maybe even close to four. I do have a slight advantage over Matthew because I have fished this creek more times. And so I kind of I kind of know the key spots that almost always produce a bite. And so he's only how many times have you fished this? This is my third time. Your third time. So and that counts yesterday. So this is only the second like trip to Arkansas that you've fished this. So you only fished this one time before this weekend. Yeah. <clears throat> and I've fished it like, I don't know. 19 times. Yeah, probably at least 10, at least a dozen times. I've probably fished this creek more than Bobby has and Bobby lives 10 minutes down the road from it. And he has cattle out here on this land, so he has to come here more frequently. But he never fishes it whenever he's, when I'm not here. I'm surprised that he doesn't come fish here every day. He doesn't like to fish alone. And so, that's what I said. There's got to be fish in here. There's never a fish on this log. Done fishing in the creek um, for today, maybe even for the weekend. Um, but um, we've got to get these bass up to the lake. But first, we gotta take this kayak um, back out uh, out of here, and we're gonna drop it off at my cousin's house. So we're gonna drag that up to the truck first because we don't have a bucket with us. So um, we're gonna leave the bass down here, hang out for a little bit and take the gear up to the truck, come back, pick up some bass, and then head up to the lake as quickly as possible so that way we can get these guys released into their, into their new home. All right, we got them out here. We got them in the lake, got them in some water. Now I'm gonna get them revived, get them kind of back to breathing, moving about. Let them go free. Just gotta chill out for a little bit, but there you go. Here you go. Fish CPR! <laughs> Fish CPR! <laughs> oh, oh, he bit me. He bit me. What about you, big guy? You ready to get out of here? There he goes. There he goes, swimming off into the deep. Tell, now you got a crazy story to tell all your new neighbors. You too, buddy. There you go. Those bass in that particular creek are quite the hardy creatures. They're, I don't know what it is about those largemouth in there, but they're feisty. They fight hard and they're tough. So, um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and click the thumbs up button there. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and um, leave a comment if uh, you there's anything in particular that you'd like to see. The uh, the bass are free in this pond, this beautiful pond. Get a shot of this pond. It's a lake, actually. I didn't quite explain. Um, I didn't quite explain why it was we were taking bass up to that lake. That lake is only, uh, I mean, it's, it's a few years old now. I want to say it's like six or seven years old. So it's still a relatively young lake. The bass population is really healthy there, but it can support more bass. And so usually whenever we're fishing down on that creek, if we, um, you know, if we catch a decent sized bass, um, you know, pound, pound and a half or bigger. And especially if we catch like a big, like a bigger, like two pounder, um, and up like three pounder, 
we like to take it up to that lake to release it so that bass or that uh, lake has some pretty decent sized bass but it doesn't yet have any monsters like five pounders and eight pounders or anything crazy like that at least not that i know of just yet so we're trying to uh trying to put some bigger bass in there and over in here in the next couple of years you know over the years we're just going to naturally have giant bass in there eventually anyway so um the owner of the camp um he's been putting bass in there for the last several years and so we like to put some in there so that's why we took them up there um, to get uh, bigger bass so that way people can catch big bass whenever they go up there um, and you folks have the opportunity to uh, come out here and stay at this uh, beautiful camp um, and I'll, I'll put, uh, put the information in the description and maybe throw the website up here on the screen um, so that you guys can contact Terry and uh, uh, Terry or Roxanne and get set up to uh, come out here and stay in the beautiful Ozarks. Um, that about does it for our trip out here to Arkansas. Uh, we're going to wrap this thing up. Uh, leave, a, uh, leave a comment if you have anything to say about the video or any suggestions. Uh, if you like the video, uh, uh, hit this thumbs up button. Subscribe to this channel so that way you do not miss any of our adventures. So I'm going to head back up to camp, head to the cabin, uh, get cleaned up, change, pack up, and get ready to head home back to the good old great state of Oklahoma. We will see you all on the next fishing adventure.